I had someone here last Sunday, I'm sure y'all heard it. Oh, I want to live with my brother. <laughs> I'm going to move and live with my brother. Why? You're a grown man. He got two bedrooms. I buried him. <laughs> <laughs> He's not here today. <laughs> so what? Why? I didn't say it was you. <laughs> <laughs> they would not have known it was you had you not said anything. I'm not a liar. I'm not a liar. Uh, you know, I have nothing to hide. Yeah. What? I said I have nothing to hide. I'm not a liar. Yeah, and no, I love it. You st- have you learned anything from last week? Uh, I, I learned a lot more than just that. Would you realize real fast about yourself from between last week and now? That you didn't realize before. Okay. Well, I, I was here two weeks. I didn't make it last week, but oh, okay. well, two week weeks before. Ago? Yeah, yeah. That's two amazing. Weeks. Two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I learned, I definitely learned that um, all my brothers are going through the same thing. So why join them in, in the hell that they're in as well? Yes. I did realize that. And yeah, especially. Didn't your brother call my show? Yeah, uh, one of your no. brothers. But yeah, my, my my brother called you, and uh, no, no, not on the show though. Just totally off off uh, thing, and uh, I told him to. He call didn't you. call the show though, huh? No, no, no. I told him Someone to call you. Someone called the sound just like you. <laughs> oh really? Oh no, no, no. It wasn't was me. Was that his brother? I don't think so. Oh. Yeah, just like him, huh? Yeah. What? Yeah, office. Yeah, he called. Oh, he called the office. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought yeah. he called the show. Okay, that's what no, I'm yeah, saying. yeah. And um, and I literally just went through with my brother yesterday, and uh, that's why I'm here today because it was crazy what happened yesterday. Um, well, you I don't was, have to put your business out there. I thought your brother called uh, the show. Oh no, 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 no. But but what happened personally? No, this is my issue right now. Oh, is okay. I, I was fighting my thoughts a lot yesterday because um, my family came over my house. Uh, and then my brother brought his kids and everything, and then my cousin came, and then my sister came, and then we all just, like, hung out, and then, um, you know, as the guys do and the cousin guys do, like, you know, I, I, I don't do it, but, like, they wanted to wrestle, and and we were wrestling, you know? <laughs> yeah, and we were just fighting. We were just, like, wrestling and fighting, and then my brother, me and my brother go at it, my oldest brother, and then and then I, I hurt him. I with this ACL and something, and then, then now everyone's attacking me. His daughter is like hitting me and saying, "I don't love you anymore." And hitting, and like, it's and so like, literally okay, last night. Out. Last night was the craziest night I've. I like, I didn't even want to be in, engaged in it, you know. And it makes me realize, like, you know, like when I tell the family, like, no, like, just leave me alone. Like, okay, y'all do your thing. I don't want to be a part of it, but. Whenever they like guilt me and whatever, and I do engage, and always something happens wrong. And then last night it was, you know, me hurting my brother, and it's like, and and I just have all this stuff. And then people now I have people this morning telling me, oh, it's all right. Da, da, da. I don't even want to hear that. I don't even want to hear that. Like I don't. Even, I like. Oh, I want to. Yes. I want to completely ignore it. But no one in my family can completely just ignore it. And there was a bunch of girls. You know, that's the reason why my brother was making a big deal. It was a big deal last night. And it's like all we had to do is just take him to the hospital. But my cousin had his girlfriend there, and then we had the. He has two daughters, and then my mom. All was right, let me do that. And, okay. Yeah. It was just crazy last night. I have that's a crazy enough. last we night. That's it. why I'm here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the young man and this young lady want to tell you what to do, and we're going to move on. Okay. Yes, sir. What would you suggest for him? Me? Uh-huh. Cut him out of your life? Mm, I can't cut my brother out. He said, cut him out of your life. You said, I can't cut him out? My brother? Yeah. Like, Why can't you cut him out of your life? It's, it's my brother. Why can't you cut him out of your life? Mm. Okay. Look, I get where you're coming from. No, that was a question. Okay. <laughs> I can't cut him out, out of my life. Why can't you? I, I want to, Why but can't I can't. You? I can't because there's something that's just like, that's just like, if there's anybody that, that I can go to, it's my brother. For more hell? <laughs> You might be right. See, this is the conflict that I'm going on because I have this conflict where I'm like, 
I told them I don't want to do like this is what I learned. It, forget what happened. Why but can't what you I, cut them out of your life? I can't. I can't cut it because there's something in me that's just that's just like like it's my brother though, you and feel, I'm gonna you love make it. The hell. I'm the youngest. I'm you the youngest the out of out of three you love older the siblings. Hell. I'm. I have this young. You love the misery. I don't. You I, do. But, but but I'm you the like youngest. You like when women beat you. <laughs> have you ever been beat by a woman? I was just asking you that. Okay. I've been beat by a woman. Yes, that's true. Uh, no. She, oh, okay. She took my she took my dog. She took my cat. I get it. All right, but I I've been dealt with that with women. But I'm talking about with my brother. It's just it's hard. And but but because one thing you love it. But Jesse, can I ask you this? No, no, no. You love it. If you didn't love it, you'd get out of hell. Jesse, I have this conflict with me with my brother where where how come I'm and all my brothers, all my siblings, pretty much everyone, everybody has family can they, problems. Yeah, they don't relate to my, like, they don't reciprocate what I reciprocate. They don't, like, I... But nobody reciprocate what they reciprocate. No, but what I'm, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is that, like, my brother would have loved it. If he broke my shoulder, it, he, he would have talked your brother. about it. But it's I felt you. bad. But at the same time, I want my brother, though. So what, am I the sick in the head or something? the green like, shirt. Someone wants to say what? I say you remind me of him. Oh. With okay. the new bike. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Well, I don't know. I, I just I'm go, I'm going through something where it's it's um it's it's you not love your sense hell. how I feel with my You love your hell. You love it. If they tried to get away from you, you would follow them. But they're my brothers though. Right. You follow them right back into hell. You love it. So I have to... Okay, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. You love it. No, but there was a part of me... No, you love it. No, but there was a part of me yesterday that I was fighting, ironically, that was like, I don't care what happened to him. He chose to wrestle. You were lying to yourself. He chose to wrestle. He chose to do all this. And why should I be like caring that he hurt himself? He did all this. I even said I didn't even want to do it. But there was a part of me that's like, why am I caring? Like, was fighting the not okay, caring Okay, I got to move on. No, but I should have cared. A, Jesse, what I'm asking you is that, should I have just, cared? Should I care that I, that I hurt my, my brother or not? No. That's what I'm saying. But I was fighting that part why that's do saying you not care? caring. I don't know. But How I'm, do you know you care? I don't want to care. How do you know you I'm care? I'm fighting that part. How do you that's know you thing. care? How do you know you care that you beat him? I didn't beat him. See, that's the thing that, too, you that broke was going in Why are you crying? I'm not crying, bro. Who are you doing? <coughs> you about to cry? <laughs> no, what Don't I'm sit saying next is... To the black lady. <laughs> <laughs> what are you about to cry about? Why? I'm not crying, man. What Why I'm you... saying is that, like, I don't know if it's right or not. To not care about my brother. Why do you? How do you know you care? Because I'm crying. There. Yeah, be. <laughs> I don't know. How do you know you care? I know I care because I care. How do you know? Because I, I, I want close to them. I want to be close to them. Why? Because we were born in this the same... Everybody born in the same family. Because <laughs> I don't know. I maybe I have this young mentality. How do you know you care? This kid, this this young kid mentality. And How old are you? Always been taught that I'm. How the old are you? Teach. I know. I know. Just I'm 28 years old. You ain't young, but I know. I know what you're saying, man. But what I'm saying is that you want to date him so you can beat though. him up. It's my brothers, though. That's just all okay. I'm saying. Look, how do you know you care? You want to know what's funny, though, is that I bet they wouldn't even care. How do you know you care? Answer that question for me, man. I got to move on. How do you know you care? It hurt hurt me and made my mind go crazy that I hurt my brother. What hurt you? 
my emotions, my mind, my thoughts went Are crazy. you your mind? The silent prayer Are you helped. your mind? The silent prayer Are you your mind? Only so much. Are you your mind? No, I'm not. Are you your emotions? No. So how do you know you were hurt? What I'm saying is that... How, uh, how do you know you were hurt if you're not your thoughts and you're not your emotions? But that, then that, then that how just, do you know you were hurt if you're not your thoughts and you're not your emotions? I wasn't hurt. I wasn't hurt. So why are you lying there? But you up here crying and lying. No, I'm not. No, what what it is, what it is, is that I'm I'm holding on to that. I believe. If you're that not my your brother, thought and your emotions, why do you say you were hurt? Well, how come I look? Help this. I'm begging. I don't know. I I don't understand why I feel this way. I don't, Jesse. I okay. don't understand why I feel this well, way. Well, I understand that. I 100. percent Now don't we understand. can work with you. Okay, thank you. Okay, stop pretending you do understand. You don't. Um, Sean want to, my producer want to tell you something, and the blind want to tell you something, the Chinese want to tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, what you, your advice for him? Um, I'd say, like, when Jesse says that you love it, you love your hell, um, you know, you, you love talking about it. You, you love what you're already in. You, you love saying, what, like, when he asks you a question and you don't answer it, you just go with whatever your head is telling you. You know, you love sticking with that. You love sticking with that voice in your head, like, yeah, like it's your friend. So when you're saying that you don't want to give up on your brother, you don't want to give up on how you feel about him. You, you don't want to give up on the stuff that you feel about him. And you're, you're sticking with that thing inside you that you think is you. It has nothing to do with him. He been a little crying saying, oh, I just love it. Oh, this feels so yeah. good. <laughs> It, it, may feel, like it, it, may feel, it may feel like it has something to do with him, like you're thinking about him, but it has, it's, all, it's, it's all about, it's all about you. you. You could care two penny about your brother. You're acting, and it feels good to act. White people are mess, huh? And here we all think you're superior. <laughs> <laughs> the young lady want to add, and then right there. And then we'll move on. Yes. If I was your brother, I would probably wrestle you also. And break your arm. Because I feel, even now, I, I started to feel frustrated because I feel like you're not listening. and. Maybe your brother feels like you're not listening and you don't, it's, you can't understand him if you don't listen. And maybe that's the only f way he felt like he could get you to listen or to kind of change direction and he just wrestled you. And I would probably too, if that was how the conversation would be going. You're beautiful, man. You're pathetic. You look pathetic right now sitting there. But then you don't have to be though. Come back, don't leave. Come back. No, come back. Don't run. Face it. No, I'm not running, bro. You're right. But face it. Relax. No. We all want you to stay. We want you to stay. Let him go. Don't tell him to stay. I'm just playing. Um, what do you say about that? Where's the mic? Oh. I was going to tell him that I think that he wants something from his brothers, and then they're going to use that to control his him. His issues are not about his brother at all. It's all about him. That's, yeah. That's he can sure. care less about his brother. And also, I haven't seen the movie Nefarious yet, but I feel like I just watched it right now. So what? I haven't seen the movie Nefarious yet, but I felt like I just watched it right you now. You did. Yeah. Absolutely. Very good point. What do you think about that? What you just saw? Um, I think that Speak he, for, allow for me. he needs to let his brothers go. He needs to let go of his brothers. Yes. He needs to focus on himself. Absolutely. He said, can I tell him what you yeah, said? He said he smelled vodka. He said what? He said he smelled, smelled like vodka. vodka. What? Smell like vodka. Oh, he dropped right now? Oh, you smell alcohol? He smelled like, I had coworkers who always drink all the time. He smelled exactly like that. 
Oh, okay. All right. Amazing. <laughs> Let me do this first because of time. Um, did I ask who, who was somebody? I forgot who I asked. Oh, he's gone now, but and, and Sally ain't been drinking. Do you want to comment on that? What you just saw? Um, I was going to, I seen, because my mom was an alcoholic, so I seen that there was some intoxication oh. there. I seen that. And then what the lady in the black said, uh, that's exactly what I was thinking, too, that he just needs to let it all go and work on himself. Oh, okay. Amazing. Yes. Everything that you just saw was a complete act from the, from the beginning to the storm out. Right. right, that's why he said it was the, that movie. Amazing. <laughs> What? I don't think he prayed on any of that. He prayed on it? He can't. He's lying to himself and he can't lie yeah. to God. Yeah. I don't think he prayed on any of that. Because if you pray on something like that, you're not able to lie to God. Yeah. Because it's, it's just not possible. The interesting so. thing about it, he's everybody in this room. We're all the same. Right. The devil does the same thing to everyone until you start to wake up. And he yes. Looked, oh, I'm sorry. No, finish your point. I was just going to say, he looked like one of the O'Doyle brothers from uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. They're, they're always oh, like, wrestling. We don't want a name call. We don't want a name call. Yes, ma'am. So like you said, we're all just like that situation. Just like that situation. And I completely relate to There's not one to that. in this room or anywhere in the world. And so I, what I noticed in that situation, I do in other ways in different circumstances. But my question is, why is it when the the ha what's in front of you is seen, how come it's so hard to be still? That's what all the loud talking and the over talking. Yeah. I do the same thing, it's just in different ways. Yeah. And I almost feel like I'm being controlled by something. Like I can't shut up, you yeah. know, and he couldn't either. Right. And it was like there's That's why I wanted him to sit still and he couldn't go be it. still. And yeah. there's moments in my life where I just cannot be still. That is a really good question. Why, can't, why couldn't he sit there and deal with it? Why couldn't he be still and go through it? All right. I, I, let me check. This young lady first, she wanted to respond, and then I saw your hand. I saw. I thought I saw it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Why couldn't he? Can you relate to the fact that he couldn't sit still or wouldn't sit still through it? Mm -hmm. and, and, and why? Why couldn't he sit still through it? I, he just gave the enemy full control mm. of his life. In that moment, he seemed very, um, he seemed to Is enjoy he still his here? Oh. He seemed, I mean, now that we've learned that it's, you know, liquor induced, um, but before learning that, I, he just seemed very beta. He seemed very um, much like someone who loves his, his hell. Every time you said, told him, something of, of benefit or value, his response was, I know, but. So whenever I hear that, but, I know, but, okay, you know, but you've just negated everything that came before that. Can you that. relate to not being able to sit through it, though? Like the young lady was saying, she does that, too. At times, she can't sit through it. Can you relate to that? Yes. And how? Um... For example, I was watching your latest episode of Fallen State, and it was what very a difficult. mess! Did y'all see that? <laughs> well, go ahead. And that woman, my response to the biblical question, she exemplified it. Mm -hmm. I, it was very difficult for me to watch her. I kept having to look at myself. You know how you always say. Um, if it takes 1,000 times during the day, stop and come back. I kept having to come back and say that she's, that's the same demon in me that's in this woman. But she exemplified what, she, what, what you always say about women, and she was the living example of my answer to the biblical question. And so what do you do when those moments come where you can't sit through it? I come back when to it's the about present. you. I come now. I come back to the present. Well, now okay. I come. I it, whenever I'm unable to sit and see myself, it's because I'm in my head. Oh, okay. So I just come back. That's all I can do. Okay. 
Uh, let me do this because of time. Is this your first time here? No, not mine. Oh, did I see your hand? Oh, yeah. it's, yeah, it's... I just wanted to comment on uh, just to say something. Okay. The, the gentleman walking out. Um, like, that's what we all face all the time. That, Me, meaning that, what? Uh, meaning that the, the voice that he's hearing in his head, you know, that's telling him to feel this way. I feel this way about my brothers, like, all yeah. this stuff. Like, we're not judging you, by the way, for walking out. Like, you're welcome back anytime. Oh, he'll be back. Um, yeah. But uh, that's just the spirit of anger, the spirit of evil inside of all of us, the ego that's driving us to make these these rationales. That's why he couldn't answer your questions. That's why oh, okay. he couldn't sit through all this stuff. So Can you relate to that? I could definitely relate to that. Okay. I've been through it, and I still go through it all the time, uh, but I try to be silent, be still, and know God, and, oh, okay. let, and let that help me face nice. the realities. Is this your first time here? I can't hear you. Yes. Yes. And what's your name, your first name? Monique. What? Monique. Monique. And... Could you relate to what he was going through? Yes. In what way? It's really hard to hold a mirror up to yourself in those moments and recognize that you are that moment. And if you just, like you said, be still, so much would just, just it would just fall away. Yeah. It really would. It's not there to begin with. I really, 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 really want to urge you. You're not going to overcome this old nature until you learn to sit through it. You got to sit through it. The thoughts and the pain, the embarrassment, the loss of the fake identities you have about yourself, the, the loss of what others think about you. You got to sit through it. It's not enough to just forgive, which is the beginning of overcoming. You forgive, but then the ego has to die. This false nature of yours has to die. And it's not going to die until you can sit through it. You got to start running from it. You got to go through it. You got to feel embarrassed. You got to, because it's all fake anyway. You got to feel embarrassed. You got to feel hurt. You got to feel mad. You got to go through it and just go through it. And the light of God that is allowing you to see this thing is there will let you know it's not you and you will go through it and it'll die. In order to live, you must die. And that's what must die. The fear, the doubt, the worry, the everything you think you are. That makes that makes sense. It is easier said than done for most people. I was I can say it, but I won't say their name. Two of my employees got into an argument with one another, right? And so I, I would call into it as I went down, and they were arguing with one another. I was like, okay, we'll handle the, the other situation. But look how you're feeling. Look at you right now. Why? How come this person is making you feel a certain way and you're overreacting to, to that person? They wouldn't even hear it. They couldn't even hear it. I'm like, here the boss, I could have fired him. Right? But I'm trying to be holy and help them overcome. I'm like, the situation, what, what you're feeling has nothing to do with that person. And what that person is feeling has nothing to do with you. But they were like bulldog with one another. <laughs> They couldn't even hear it. They wouldn't even stop and say, oh, yeah, that's right. Because their situation had nothing to do with what they were feeling either. It's hard if you're not paying attention to go through it. You got to go through it. You got to die if you want to live. And if somebody is hurting your feelings, they're not hurting you. They're hurting your fake identity that you have identified with. And he sat there and felt whatever he needed to feel, whatever he was thinking, and went through it, he'll be free today. Right now, he'll be free. And whatever happened, it won't affect you. You know what I mean? That was a bird. See, Jesus told the truth. Jesus told the truth, and the bird died. And now we're going to bring life back to it. But anyway, yes. Right here, Sean. It's a bird ran into the window. Don't let the homeless people see it. They might eat it. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Um, 
You, you raise know, your hand for there's something. There's something I just noticed um, when you were talking that I'm definitely going to watch is that I noticed that you, wa you asked me that question multiple times before I gave you a direct answer. And in this moment, I'm noticing that I did not want to admit that I could relate to that. I, I know I have my own fair share of demons, but they're not that, that bad. They're, my demons are different from your demons. That's right. I'm bad, but he's worse. That's a good notice. Did I see your hair? Oh, what's in your hair? Oh, it was Joel. He black. And then here. I was just going to mention that I think the first thing to, like, enduring is first admitting that you enjoy it. Because it's hard to endure. Or if you do endure, it's just like an intellectual thing, and then you try and try, and then you burn out from enduring. But I think there has to be in my opinion, the first acknowledging that you enjoy it or seeing that you actually enjoy these things. You love the hell. But when it's painful, you don't think that you're enjoying it. Right, but, but the thing is, is that we have to be willing to go through it. Mm. But first we have to recognize that we're not going through it. We're running away, like we're getting embarrassed. It's because we like the escape of it. Mm. We enjoy the escape of running away or the embarrassment. Amazing. But you know that the pain doesn't feel like enjoyment, right? If you like feeling embarrassment and, or you're feeling hurt from losing someone or something, right. you're not going to say, I'm enjoying this. But, no, I'm saying, but it like, is enjoyment. They all loving it, but it doesn't feel like it. Right. But that's what I'm saying. We have to get to the point where we recognize that we are enjoying it, though. We enjoy the love the thrill. Yeah. He's right. Even a bad thrill, you love the bad thrill. Or oh, so-called good thrill. You love the good thrill. Isn't that amazing? My wife leaving me. I'm hurting, but it feels good. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> he, the guy behind you, been waiting a minute. Okay, so that was very aligned with what I read this morning in the Bible when Moses struck the rock. Because the thing is, we're not patient enough to go through the hell that we need to go through. And when God spoke to Moses and said, I command you to go to the rock, he instead struck it out of frustration. And that was that gentleman. We've all been there. Well, we're not listening to just listen. We're instead trying to fight the hell. Yeah. And like the lovely lady said over here about we've all been there. Like, you I saw that. lovely? Oh, well, Respect. What the? What the? Nah, but I'm essentially, playing. like, we've all, we've all been there. And I think at the end of the day, like, we were here two weeks ago, and we heard his predicament and how he was trying to escape. I think we've all been there where we're trying to escape our hell, but we Everybody allowed is to... there right now. Yeah. Nobody in this room is free yet. No. Not one. And it's like what you said about the biblical question, what's trapping us? Well, hold that. Okay, well... Basically, oh, the big dog the got question. him, essentially. Not the little ones. The big dog got him. Well, that's not the new biblical question. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. You're that's right. Where we're at. Yeah. The young man in blue want to respond to all. What do you think about all you've seen and heard this morning? A little crazy. Yeah. Um, one thing I do say, though, I don't think we should speculate about whether he was drunk or not, because right. that's not going to help anything. I agree. And then I got one more question for you. So you're telling us to go through it, right? But wouldn't that apply, too, to, like, your brother, staying with your brother, not cutting out your family? You got to go through that? No. Right? With other human beings, if you're waking up and they're not waking up, it's best to get far away because they'll destroy you. But can't you help them wake up? No. You can't even help yourself to wake up. Only God can, right? Right. So you got to show them God. No. It's not your responsibility to show them God is your responsibility for you to return to the Father and you will become the light and, the, and whomever is seeking the light will see something about you and they will ask you about it. But they will come to you. Aren't we supposed to spread the word though? I'm sorry? Aren't we supposed to spread the word? No. Where did you get that from, spread the word? The Bible. What, what the, Bible, the Bible says that? Yeah. What right. does it say? Uh, I don't know the exact quoting. Oh, but in the Bible it says, spread the word? I, I could probably pull up a quote, yeah. I'm sorry? I could pull up a quote. What? I don't know if it says that. It might say it. But when you become the light, you are the light of the world. 
And isn't and the so, light supposed to shine to other people? Right. And it will, but not without you being aware of it. You don't feel it. You're not trying to be the light. But we have to actively repent, right? So you have to feel it. Um, so what now? We've got to actively repent against uh, sin, right? Well, when you admit that you have anger, anger is hatred, and you're playing God, that is what you are. You are saying, I'm wrong for playing God. That is what you're repentance of. And then once you wake up, now all your identity, your vices and everything, which is your own nature, will be taken away because they're no longer you, and they were never you. So you're saying anger is wrong? Anger is evil. But what about justified anger? When you're angry against things of the world, people sinning. Give me an example of anger against the world. Are you angry at the world? No. Are you angry against the world? Yeah. And what are you angry about against the world? Uh, the complete just separation from God. I'm sorry? Separation from God. That they are separated or you're separated? The world. Everyone. Who, you mean the other people? Yeah. You're angry that other people are separated from God? Yeah. Why? Because they're going to burn in hell for eternity. And? Well. Why would I you be angry about that? I don't want them to burn in hell. Why not? Because they're, they've got a soul and they reflect God. We're made in his image. And what good is it doing you not to want that for, from them and to be angry about it? Because it uh, encouraged me to then go spread the word and help but them. But they don't want to hear it. Then I show them and they can decide for themselves. But God has already done that, done that and they reject it. But people need encouragement. I'm sorry? People need encouragement. No, they don't. Why not? Because the more you encourage them, the deeper they go into their hell. People have to want to come out of hell. As Joel, somebody said, they have to want it. Have you noticed that God's not bad about them being in hell, right? Have you noticed that? Yeah. And he and, and his son, Jesus, they get up every morning. They go over to Cafe Mocha. Well, Jesus, you know, God asked Jesus early in the morning, what do you want for breakfast, Daddy? He like, I want a Cafe Mocha and egg bites. <laughs> and so... <laughs> Some manna. And so Jesus, all right, and so God turned on the TV and have everything warm up because Wi-Fi might not be working. And so they get the Wi-Fi thing going, and he watched people suffer in hell. And they don't, they have a good breakfast. He doesn't feel anything about it. He, for those who are seeking, he'll give you warning signs so you can find your way. But he'll let everybody else just die in hell. He's not going to be mad about it. He's not holding it against them. He, and he made the way. Either you find a way by crying out to him or you die in your hell. So why should you care? Why should you be mad at them because they don't want to get out? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I mean, so you're assuming God isn't mad. You don't think he's sad that people burn in hell for all eternity, separated from him? No, not at all, because if God was sad about it, he could just... Be fair about well, it right that's now. The, that's what sin is. Sin separates you from God. It's anger does will, that. Right? That's why anger does. It separates you so from God. So he, he can be mad that you choose not to go for him, but he's not going to do anything against Why would he be him? mad about it? Because he wants you to spend eternity with him to worship him. Right, but he's not going to be mad about it. He wanted if you want it. He made the way so you can just come home, right? But if you don't want to come home, he'll leave you out there in the desert. But he'll be sad. He'll no, be sad why that would the be sheep's sad? all alone. Right? No, he wouldn't. There's no sadness in God. There's only perfect peace. Well, he's got emotions, and we reflect his emotions. God doesn't have any emotions. That's uh, he's that's a something. dispassionate God. Well, Satan there's has so many emotions. instances in the Old Testament though where he'll get mad, he'll open up the ground, and cast them out. Right? So he Who does did have that? anger. God. Um, the Old Testament is God. We have a New Testament now, and everything we're Same looking God, for. Same God though. Different, th different set of heuristics, right? But in the Old Testament, people didn't have any way out. Now we have a they New Testament. They had a way out. They had sacrifices. There's a New Testament. It's inside of us now. The kingdom of yeah. heaven, everything is done. The resurrection is done. Everything is completed. And it's inside of us. And anyone that get mad or sad for another person think that they are God and they are on an ego trip. Mm. And they are comparing their lower nature, the human nature, 
to the nature of God, not knowing they're worshiping the devil. But even in the New Testament, we see God in the form of man, Jesus. He gets what? mad at people for selling things at the market, right? No. He wasn't mad about it. Not he was mad. Human, he was going around. Not human he was flipping mad. over tables. Right. Not human mad. But I understand why you think that way, but no. You could turn over the table without being mad. Yeah. I think it says he was angry. He got angered. But, but not human anger. Human beings he was a human, though. Human He's fully human, are... fully God, right? What? He's fully human, fully God. What does that mean? Well, uh, this is uh, speculation, but I think in a fourth-dimensional being in a three-dimensional plane, we can't really understand what that means. So you're speculating about God? I'm speculating about how a four-dimensional being would be perceived in a three-dimensional world. But if world. your mind is not of his mind, his mind not your, how can you speculate? It's not speculation on God. It's speculation on physics. I'm sorry? It's speculation on physics. On um, physics? Physics. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Kinematics. Uh, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> so you said something. Man, I, I got to end it because of time. But you said God is fully man, full of what? Jesus is fully man, fully God. What does that mean? I don't know what it means because I have a well, three-dimensional <laughs> mind. Well, why are you saying it and you don't know what it means? Well, because it says it in the Bible. That, where is that in the Bible? I, again, I don't have the verses memorized. Well, come back next Sunday with all your little Bible verses. <laughs> okay. All right? Yeah. Yes, but sir. I, I like it. So come back uh, next Sunday yes, sir. with your little Bible verses. Fully man, fully woman. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs>